You're watching The Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, how small improvements to your smile can make a big difference in not only how you feel about yourself, but how others react to you. Uh, with us, we have an expert on this topic of smile makeovers. With us, we have Dr. Maria Blake. Dr. Blake, welcome to the program. Welcome. Thank you. So for people that don't know your practice, uh, who's your typical patient and what are the different uh, services you offer? in your practice? Well, I, I actually offer anything that dentists do. Okay. From uh, small fillings to bigger ones to uh, cosmetic dentistry, uh, like veneers and crown and bridge, restoring even those people who have no teeth. A denture where I can come in and totally dissatisfied with the denture because it is not retentive enough and it slops, flops around, which all dentures do. And uh, we can offer them um, a prosthesis, which is no longer than a dentist. Like a full arch of teeth a, a full, full that arch teeth snaps in or is locked in permanently? It, permanently, yes. Okay. Yes. We have kind of a, a spa-like environment in our office um, where people can have their teeth nicely restore the anterior portion of their mouth, the front porch, I call it. The front uh, porch, you call yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. And, and uh, also, at the same time, they can make arrangements with the, with, with the spa. We have a little spa in our office. Uh, so it goes hand in hand, pretty teeth and pretty face. In your practice, uh, you know, you're a cosmetic dentist, but we know that it's not a recognized specialty. Correct. Like a cosmetic dentist. Correct. But Correct. elaborate on, in your view, what it is to be a cosmetic dentist? Actually, anything we do, oh, at least I do, uh, is pretty, and, and anything pretty would consider to be cosmetic, like a piece of jewelry, if you will. Okay. And, 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 and that is, and it has to function. It has to be beautiful, and it has to function. What do you mean by that? It has to be pretty to look at, even to a lay person. And it has to be able that you can chew with it without having to worry there's something in there that doesn't belong. Okay. And and that is unhealthy. That's that's what it is all How about. How long have you been doing this cosmetic dentistry? Oh, for for a long long time. I I, I say I have done dentistry for thirty eight years, but um, this cosmetic stuff, maybe. 25 years ago? You love it. Uh, you know, I asked you in the green I room. It. I said, if you could do something all day long. Oh, that's it. I you said you love veneers. You like... I don't work. I play. You play. Yeah. So to you, it's playing. Yeah. Design. You have a nice smile. Thank you. Did you do your own smile? No. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. No. And look, are you allowed to do it? You just decided you're not going to do it yourself. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm talented, but not that talented. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Now, do you believe, now look, you're a dentist, and we're, we're going to move into, I have questions about veneers, the veneering process, and, and you say that small, affordable things can make a big difference yes, it does. in your smile. Yes. So it doesn't have to be all veneers, yes. Yes. things like that. Oh, no. It doesn't even have to make a, 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 do a restoration. Just two days ago, a patient of mine came in. She had a little crowding in the front because she has periodontal no longer periodontal disease, the damage is already done. She had a very, very crooked front tooth, which appeared longer when, you, when, we, when she spoke and when she smiled, and she hated that. So uh, I went and, and shortened that tooth and contoured it. The contour, you just kind of carved it carving, down a little bit? Carving it down a bit and made it level with the other teeth. So it is an entire different smile. It became an entire different smile. She loved it. And she says, oh, how easy. And she thought she had to lose that tooth. Now, we had a discussion in the green room. And you said that there's so many people. They have money. Yes. They have beautiful cars and homes and boats. Yes. And they have this old smile or a smile that doesn't look so good. So my question to you, is it their fear of the dentist? Because nobody likes going to the dentist. No. It's got to be. Or they don't think it's that important. So what do you say? Because those people might be watching right now. How important is the smile? Very important, but they're so successful in their work that, that they don't realize that they could be more successful if they would have a better looking teeth. They don't have to be the best in the world, but it would really, really improve. And uh, I think 
a pretty smile makes you uh, makes you almost want what you get what get what you want rather. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. Do you get compliments on your smile a lot? And um, are there a lot of people that don't like their smile where you are? Oh yeah, lots of them don't. Oh goodness gracious, yes, a lot of them, and they would tell me, well. My kids are still in school and I, I can't afford it. Or uh, one day I will do it and one day it probably never comes. And sometimes it does. And when it does, it is a tear jerker. It really is. And um, I have, over the years, many of those stories, you know, really. where Because you say in one afternoon you could change their life. Yes. By fixing their teeth. Oh, absolutely. Even even in the temporary, uh, if, let's say I do veneers, and they would have to wear temporaries uh, for a couple of weeks or so. And they they have to look good when they walk out my office because my name is on it and it has to be good. A young lady, well, in her 30s, she uh, had all her life tetracycline stained teeth. Okay. Never wanted to smile. Never. Very attractive woman and very successful. So finally she broke down and went to have, can we do something about it? Most people say no because you have these stained teeth. And she had beautiful teeth. She didn't have any uh, cavities or fillings in the front teeth at all. We gave her uh, some 10 upper and 10 lower veneers and uh, and when she's, I gave her the, the, the mirror to say to approve before we actually finally bonded those veneers on, um, if that is what she likes. She went berserk. <laughs> it, it really was incredible. When you say berserk, what do you mean? I mean, she looked at the mirror and what happened? She was in tears and you know said she wished she could have done it early in her life because she never, never smiled from childhood on. She was very... Are there a lot of people like that, by the way? That, that don't like their smile, like oh, where you are. absolutely, absolutely. There are lots of people that don't uh, uh, like their smile, period. Like when you're walking around as a dentist, you can spot who's hiding their smile? Oh, yeah, because they, they, they keep their mouth shut when they, they grin. This is a friendly thing. This is not a frown. But uh, uh, when they speak with you and they hide their teeth somehow, you, can, she nev you never see the teeth. Uh, I don't know. They... They, they seem, they're so accustomed to that, that it doesn't bother them so much, but deep inside it does. As this lady has told me, all her life, she wanted to smile and couldn't. She wouldn't because kids were making in school fun of her. And now she, she's as happy. I, I really think she's, yeah, I have a hell of a time getting her into the office to get her teeth clean because <laughs> she doesn't think she has to do it anymore. So we would, but we get her in, I love her dearly. And and, uh, and 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 refresh her smile, and she loves it. Sometimes she comes in, just a, you know, I had red wine last night. Do you think you see it? No, you don't. Is it true veneers? They don't really stain. Because it's porcelain. Okay. It's porcelain. It's like a cu a coffee cup, you know, All fine right. porcelain that doesn't stain, but eventually it does in between. So now, what about the veneers that I see? And for people just tuning in, we're talking about smile makeovers uh, with Dr. Blake. You believe in natural looking smiles. Yes. Okay. Now, knowing you're coming on the show, uh, I feel like I could spot veneers walking down the street. They seem to be big and bulky. You say it shouldn't have to be that way. So yes. when, some, when you see like one of these housewife shows and they've got the big teeth, big teeth, giant fake veneers. Whose idea is that? Is that the patients want that or is that the dentist? It really is. I think the dentist makes the decision, you know, and the patient should approve of it or disapprove of it. Sometimes, sometimes I must say, the patient does not know what looks nat natural or something like that. They really don't. But uh, when they might like that, which I think then you should have as a dentist, you should have the ethics behind it and say, this is not right. So if it's done right, they should just like look like regular teeth. Right, right. Like when they go to your office, right, and they don't like their teeth. Okay, so their teeth are pretty bad. How do they know what it's going to look like? Well, you do 
you could do a mock-up, for instance. What is a mock-up? It's, it's as where you have an impression uh, uh, of the mouth, and you sit down, and I do that. I carve it in the laboratory, and then make them a little uh, falsy. Oh, is that right? Uh huh. So like a trying try, yes, and see, is that what you have in mind? Is that what you even you can put the shade there, uh, the color of the teeth. Uh, so that this is what I want, or I want it lighter or a little darker. I don't want to look it too bright, you know. What are the age ranges of people coming in for these smile makeovers? Between 40 and 60, I say. When should somebody get this done? Like, when should somebody get veneers? I figure, you know, uh, when it bothers you, then you have to do something about it. It's one of those things in life, I guess, yes. you could take care of is your teeth. Yes. And it's easy. Like you say, it's a, it's a routine procedure. They could even take a pill in your office. Is that? I'm not trying to side with you, by the way. No, no, no. But we've talked a lot on the phone and we talked today. But like you say, they could take a sedation, a pill. Yes. Get some oral sedation. Yes, if you're worried and scared. And they're relaxed. And yes. And, uh, and now with a the sedation, they would have to come in early in the morning. They would have to make an arrangement for that because on an like empty, a, a, like an a empty stomach. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Oh, yeah. You would have to have someone that drives you to the, to the office. And, yeah, we can do all that stuff. This is uh, very simple if the, if the patient wants it. But before, bef that would be only when you do the treatment, not when we do decide yeah. what we are going to do. What if you have really bad teeth? Can you ever be too far gone to give somebody a, a, their smile back? No, we always can get their smile back, truly. Uh, but they may have to spend a little longer time All right. And, and because we have to get the tissue in, in, under control. And um, some teeth may have to be extracted. Uh, some, uh, but it's not gone. We can we can we can fix that. We may have to have an implant or a bridge or whatever. Sometimes even the worst cases, they may have to have a denture done, but the denture is not really it's like a cosmetic denture. Yes. So let's start with the small things. At the top of the show, we said that small improvements to your smile can make a big difference. So yes. what are some of the small things that are you oh. know worth it? The small things, the very small things, it would be a bleaching, for instance, and we do quite a bit of that. And uh, we just had a young lady in. Uh, she had she's 17 years old. She got because she was going to the prom. Uh, she wanted to have her te uh, teeth bleached, so we did. And mother was standing. Can I put myself down for the for uh, uh, and do the same thing? Bleaching. I don't even think of of it to be a big deal, but it does make a big difference in the way they feel and, and the way they look because the teeth look nice and fresh and, and almost pristine. And, and, th and, and that, that is the key. Uh, other things, small things, like for instance, if you have a, a space between the teeth, and we can, we can do this, you don't even have to have a veneer done necessarily. You can do this with the composites and make it extremely so attractive. So a little space between yeah, the teeth. Yeah. I told you, one of the employees, she says her dad, she doesn't like the space in between her teeth, which I can't even notice. But she said her dentist said it's fine. Well, what are your his, thoughts on that? Well, it's his opinion, but uh, uh, because he either does not know how to restore it or it doesn't seem to bother him. And it should bother him as a dentist. And besides, if the patient wants that, you need to evaluate it really well to figure out. So if it bothers her. Yeah, it is serious, you know, to okay. her that's serious. Because she would constantly think about it. Even in, 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 in a nice conversation with her friends, she will always know she has that space there. You know, since I talked to you on the phone, Facebook, right? Facebook is big. Yeah. And... I'm looking at photos and I see certain people taking selfies and they never show their teeth. Yeah. And you said that that's probably because they're hiding something under there. They, that, well, yeah. And so many people don't want to go to the dentist. They are fearful. And many of them do have a financial problem, overall spoken. But uh, all you have to do, they figured it out early. Keep the mouth shut. Okay. Nobody can see it. It's like pulling curtain in front. But you say come in, 
And yeah. they're small things. Okay, so you got yeah, whitening, yeah. gaps, you could do clean, bonding or whatever. Clean teeth alone is a, an attractive thing. That's a good point. Clean teeth is beautiful. Now you're a dentist. You think that the teeth are the most important thing probably. Well, yeah, without it, you can't digest food very well. You, I, I know that. Dr. Mayo, well, even 100 years ago, said if you don't have any teeth, your lifeline is cut short by 15 years. When you smile, your face is open, and it, it, it invites other people in, in, in. It's, it's a more positive thing than something that's frowning and, 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 and hiding whatever it is. But uh, teeth are important for communication. If you are, for instance, go for a job interview, let's say, and uh, you would not smile and you would not even want to talk very much and you hide what you're doing, what you want to say, uh, I don't think that is a positive, uh, you would get a positive reaction to that. It's, it's a, when, you, when you're happy and smile, number one, when you smile, you're given an uh, appearance of happiness and happiness is good. And, and I would want to have a happy person around me and not uh, someone that cannot even crack a smile. Um, that can get you a job, no matter where, what you apply, and be it for uh, any kind of a job, as a matter of fact. Well, every survey that, that has been taken, the eyes and your smile are the most important things of you. When you go into an interview or whatever, even when you try go, and mingle with friends. It is so important because that's the first thing you see in the middle of your face. You say people are discriminated against when they have bad teeth. What do you mean by that? They may be as talented as all get out, but because this is the first impression that they get, and therefore you're not being selected uh, when you are in a job. Let's say that 10 people that are applying for the same position, and um, there is only one in there that is just one little firecracker, you know, and, and it's, it's, it's wonderful, and, and guess what, who gets the job? However, the other nine might be just as good, if not better than that. But now, you mentioned the word firecracker. So in my mind, it's already somebody smiling and talking. Yes. And it's not so much the prettiest smile, but smiling yeah. goes a long way. It does, it does. You sell yourself. It's your you. charisma. Yes. Okay. Because there's people walking around. I, I guess, you know, you could prejudge people. Like in the movies, right? We, right? we talked about this. If a director wants to make somebody look poor, they darken their teeth. Right. And if they want to make them really look poor, they make them crooked teeth and missing teeth. Yeah. And that's what we associate. And a witch has always a black tooth. I had this patient, actually it was one of my first patients when I opened up the doors as the dentist yeah. uh, in Hammond. This young man, at that time I was about 38 years old, had a bad toothache. And uh, he wanted all his teeth extracted, pulled. Wow. And I, I wasn't about to do it because this was still, there was no perio, no gum disease or anything like that. They were just really bad, decayed teeth. He never had been in a dental office. And um, I, now he lost some, I extracted this one tooth that was bothering him But he him the wanted most. them all taken out. They were all taken out. He was still a young man, and he shouldn't have a denture. So what did you do? So I took, the, took away all the decay and, and, and um, then crowned it, crowned the teeth with uh, um, porcelain. In those days, we did not have all ceramic crowns, crowns okay. where with, with, with the, with the whole crown would be all ceramic. We, today we do, but then we had metal underneath it and then stack that porcelain on top. But still they were very pretty and uh, he had a beautiful smile and he, I haven't changed those in, in, in 30 some years. And Does he ever bring up the story like I'm glad you didn't pull time, out all my every, teeth? Every time, every time. What does he say? Every time. Man, I'm glad you didn't do this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he says. and, and and I'm glad too because he has no problems with them. Now he did lose a, a few teeth that we were beyond; they were homeless. But and we didn't have to use implants either because they were way in the back, and um, he had enough function 
for the rest of the mouth is doing great. It, it really is uh, life changing when you think about it. Uh, I have uh, another patient who is a farmer and very attractive man, by the way, and and, <laughs> and, I, and he had horrible looking teeth, honestly. And uh, <laughs> but 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 he. Um, and he had the money to have it done. He says, I want to have my teeth fixed. And uh, he, he was married and he had uh, his wife. She wanted it more fixed than he did. She didn't and like his teeth? No. Okay. No, no. And we made him beautiful, beautiful teeth. And when he smiled, he was, oh my gosh. You know, I said, let's not look at him. <laughs> it's a forbidden, forbidden area. So, but he was, and this and was And it can look, a nice smile. You know, it's, it's I, I unbelievable this, that a smile is more attractive than a pout. That a smile makes a a difference. Absolutely. Because when I talk to you on the phone, I, I, I feel like dentists are always exaggerating about no. how a smile can make such a big difference. And oh, I does. told you I was lucky I have pretty good teeth. But there's a lot of people that really do don't not like have their that. teeth. Yeah. So yeah. do it. Is that what you think? Like yes, if you have start small, maybe if you don't have a lot of money and well, yeah, absolutely. You, you you go and have a plan first. You know, if you make up your mind, you have your mouth restored or done to a pretty smile, a pretty everything. Uh, you have to have a plan as to how you go about it. You told me something about even people with really wrinkled faces, they still want to look pretty. Oh, God, What yes. do you mean by that? You were, you were telling me something. Well, they do. Well, I told you that I have a little spa on the side uh, in my building, and um, the, uh, the, those women ask, what do you have back there? You know, and we tell them, this is wonderful stuff. It's, it's it make your face smooth and so forth, and with your pretty teeth, this is complimenting and all that. And... Ah, do you think I can do that too? And now these are 75, 80 year old women and they think it can still, and it does, it does. I have, she has quite a few patients that, uh, that have that, uh, their faces done, but not surgery because that is appealing. They do not like the surgery. This is totally um, biological, if you will. Yeah. And, 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 and organic in, in, in many ways, uh, and it works. Now, we talked about this, that women where you are, and, 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 and women today, I mean, there's a lot of women that are taking, they're living longer, working longer. Yes. They take bioidentical hormones. Yes. They take care of their skin, their hair, yes. their nails, and all that. Yes. But you said teeth are almost like hair. They get damaged over time. What, what do you mean by that? Well, they age like everything, because a tooth is a bone, just like the bone in, inside, only the tooth is exposed, only a portion of it. That's why the tooth, this outer layer is tougher. This the toughest material we have. Okay. And, but it ages just like our hair gets gray. So if you live long enough, your teeth, no matter how much you brush they get them, yellow. they're yeah. just going to get... Yeah, they age. They age. Teeth age. So you say if you want to look your best, it's inevitable to get veneers. Well, it would be, yes. Yes. If you want to look your best? If you want to look your now, best. Look, I know you're into health, right? Do you see women, they've got skin and hair and nails and they've got this old smile? Yes. Do you think it's their fear of the dentist? That's something you don't want to admit. What? That you don't like the dentist? Fear. Den yeah, fear? you don't like... Oh, they tell me that. I don't like you. They do say I said, that? Well, the, I don't like the dentist. I said, well, as long as you like me, I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> so, but that's, that's what... Yeah. They do not like dentistry. I think it's sort of a, an old myth, you know, from way back before the time of anesthesia. So it doesn't hurt anymore. Oh, and you can even give a, them a pill with oral sedation. That's right. Get it all done. And, and no, furthermore, I am so gentle with, with truly, without bragging about it, but, uh, but I give the best anesthesia there is. <laughs> <laughs> without bragging. <laughs> People tell you that? Is that why you yeah, say that? Yeah, they don't even know that they are numb. What have you been doing, they say. So there's no excuses now. No. So 40s, 50s, 60s. And what's this thing, instant orthodontics? So somebody could have bottom teeth that are crooked, right? And yeah. they can get this done and walk out with straight teeth. I have a patient who has spaces between the lower teeth. Very attractive woman. Okay. Very attractive. 
I wish I had her looks. <laughs> but uh, truly. And, uh, she sounds attractive. Okay, we got that out of the <laughs> way. got that out of the way. Um, but very healthy teeth. And you don't want to cut. But they were teeth. crooked. No, they were not crooked. They had spaces in between, like too much space, too little of a tooth. Okay. And, uh, oh, I couldn't touch those teeth for nothing. I, I, I don't want to do that to damage the tooth because once you make a veneer out of it, a regular veneer, you have to reduce tooth structure. Okay. And uh, so I used these, um, we call it lumineers. All right. And they turned out absolutely beautiful. So I changed her life. Honestly, she's an active tennis player and I mean she's out there and you wouldn't you could not tell that there's a, a lumineer so your lovely. veneers do not look big and bulky no you have to select the patient where you can when you can use it how much is it more art or more science it has to be both because dentistry is an art and a science it has to be both. Either you have it or you don't. So if they want to have a consultation with you, is it a free consultation? Yes. So if somebody watching this, and we're, we're, we're short on time, they don't like their teeth, or their teeth are pretty bad, right? Yes. And they don't know, right, what to do, what their options are. Yes. Well, what's it like? Like, what's the consultation may, like? Well, have the patient come in, and they were told from the, from the beginning, this is a free consultation, and let the doctor look at it. And whenever I need something, like... I may need a little impression or something like that just to study it myself because mm -hmm. just go there and, and, and make an, a diagnosis you can make, but the outcome may not be the right way. Well, I, and then have the patient come back and present that to the patient. So you could actually show them. I mean, they get a try-in before yes, the we actual can do that. veneers. Mm -hmm. So they could walk around with these teeth. A couple weeks they, before you order the porcelains? Well, I wouldn't recommend that, but yes, I have done that, and they didn't come back. <laughs> <laughs> they just wanted to keep those teeth. Yes. <laughs> and I said, oh, wow, that was not very smart. <laughs> yeah, but that's usually what it, what it is, you know, what that All right. is. So you have oral conscious sedation. Yes. You have uh, veneers. Yes. You use ozone, which we haven't talked about, but you shoot ozone to kill the, the bad bugs or the bacteria. Right. To clean the gums and make them healthy. Right, right. Um, I want to thank you for coming on the show. So uh, if you don't like your smile, do something about it. That's correct. All right. I want to thank you for coming on the show. Great, great job. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. You've been watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez for now. I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues. 